Over the next few minutes, we are going to discuss the strategies of the growing technology sector of the agricultural industry. Welcome to Chester Incorporated, home of the world's best sensor chips for the world's finest cattle. Now, I grew up on a range, and I know how to rope cattle. And then I went to MIT and got my business degree at Harvard. I look at business opportunities like roping cattle. Chester Incorporated is a young company unlike any others. It began eight years ago with a quest to improve their sensor chip. Chester Incorporated has the vision to bring innovation within the customer's reach. This emerging business was founded by Chester, a young entrepreneur with an uncanny ability to transform the knowledge he gained on the farm to develop what are believed to be the world's greatest computer chips. In the year 2010, Chester developed its first low-cost, low-tech product, Cake. Designed as a GPS tracking device for cattle, the door opened for a technological revolution in the agriculture industry. With follow-up products Kane and Cola, the market grew exponentially due to new applications in tractor robotics and cattle branding. So we're focused on keeping high quality products. Two of our products were the highest in the entire market. Kane was our number one high tech product and Cake was our number one low tech product. And we even had another product sitting right in the middle of the fence and that was Cola. We feel that it's really important to increase sales and we did this by investing in promotion. In order to help increase sales, I came up with a commercial to help promote customer awareness. By our third year, our customer awareness was 100%. It has not been an easy road to get Chester where it is today. The sensor chip market is highly competitive. Erie and Andrews are two companies that offer the greatest competition to Chester because of their products. In order to overcome this, Chester greatly increased their automation and capacity and dropped their prices by as much as 12%, stealing the market and leaving Erie with 18 million units in inventory. As production manager, it's my job to increase the capacity that we have to produce products. We focused on increasing our automation up to a 10 on our low tech products. Um, this allowed us then to lower our, our costs because the cost of producing each unit was cheaper for us here at Chester Incorporated. When it comes to forecasting, it's something that really requires experience. It requires trial and error. Looking back in year four, we made a mistake. We had over 1.3 million units in excess inventory. However, we learned from that, and by year six, we only had 126,000 units in inventory. Quite an improvement. Um, over the past eight years, we've spent millions of dollars in TQM, training our employees to be greater leaders, greater management. This allowed us to do more with fewer employees, which lowered our costs and increased our profit margins. We've invested over $100 million in our company so that we could get our product to where it is today. So this plant you see before you, it's the result of $100 million of research and development. This is what allows us to provide these products. Some people in this company, they think R&D, we're just nerds. But you know what? We make this company. Demand for their products began to increase as well, and with the money they saved on production costs, they were able to issue more dividends. This allowed their stock price to shoot up, and by the eighth year, stock prices had increased by over 400%. As far as debt goes, we borrowed a lot of money at the beginning so that we could improve our quality of product. But we're making so much money that we're starting to pay it back, $2 million every year. 2018 was Chester's best year with a return on sales of 20.4%, a return on assets of 27.8%, and a return on equity of 35.8%. All of these are predicted to rise by 3-4% to within the next year.
Some people have been asking me, now what kind of value do you give to your investors? I got a cat call to all you investors out there. This company is like a wild stallion, so saddle up with us, because it's about to take off.